Right, we're on. I'm here at Cardona Golf and Country Club. Golf's tricky, isn't it? Why is golf so hard? Well, today we're going to talk about that. We're going to do a two-part video, so explaining something in two pieces, keeping it really simple. We're going to talk about what lifts the golf club and what turns the golf club. What lifts the golf club and what turns the golf club, eh? My golf clubs are way back here. <laughs> So what lifts the club and what turns the club? Well, the golf swing, the golf club has to get up here somehow. Okay, you take the club back, it has to get up to here and then come down and hit golf ball. So what takes the golf club up there? What takes the club up there is pretty simple. That's right, it's the arms. So the arms take the club to the top of the backswing. Now I'm gonna, you've probably seen this drill before or this part of the two part drill in lifting the club up. Faldo used to set the golf club here and then play his golf swing. If we cock the wrists up and then lift your arms up, that is you at the top of your backswing. Now it's not quite as simple as that. If I cock my golf, my wrists, lift my club up. Now both arms are straight. Both arms are straight towards camera there. That's not good. Of course, at the top of the backswing, the right arm is flexed. And as we all know, the right arm is a power accumulator. The bending and straightening of that right arm accumulates power, accumulates power. <laughs> so purely cocking the wrists and lifting the arms up, that is, we can see flat left wrist or how we can, if we're cupped, bowed or flat, so we can get the feeling for that in the wrist cock position. Lifting the arms up, both arms straight, not great. Now, let's make it more relevant. This is for a right-handed golfer. I'm both. <laughs> Cock the wrists, trying to keep your left wrist nice and flat, which will probably close the face slightly. There, so right hand is now on top of the golf club as you're there. So there, so I cock to there, but it's there. So you'll see club face close slightly, but right hand is now on top of the golf club, left wrist nice and flat. So it's not a cock straight up, so the leading edge is vertical. It's there. So it's the left wrist that's flat and the club face looks slightly closed with right hand on top. It's not closed, it's perfectly square. Then from there, I'm gonna bring the hands up in front of my body, but favoring the right shoulder. So watch this. So I'm there, then I bring my hands up in front of my right shoulder. So that bends my right arm. So now my left arm's straight and right arm's flex. Keep bringing it up, that's the top of my golf swing. There up towards right shoulder, in front of right shoulder, there, now right arm's flexed. That there, if I turn myself now, leave my hands where they are, and turn round, that's the top of my golf swing. That is tidy. So it's your arms that take the golf club up to the top of the swing. Not too much the wrists or the hands, just think about your arms lift the golf club up to the top of your golf swing. Now, what turns it? How do we get there? We obviously, we obviously can't hit golf shots from there so the body has to turn so the hands or the arms lift the golf club up to the top of the swing but what turns the body the actual torso the pivot of the torso not so much shoulder turn but the torso turn chest and back turning arms lift the club up torso turns the club away from the golf ball that's your rotational aspect we go up front of right shoulder Turn my torso, I don't think about shoulders, shoulders are independent, they're ball and socket joints. There, then from there, my back faces target, chest faces away from the golf ball, and I'm good to hit shots from there. That, when you put together those two moves, you've got a perfect backswing. So trying to encourage that, trying to feel that. So I am there, there, and there, it's top of backswing. Let's try and do that in one motion. So let's start the rotational aspect a little bit earlier. And again, there. So now at the top of my swing, if I was to turn round, if I was to take the turn out, the torso turn, and go back, there's my position. Left wrist flat, right arm bent, and club perfectly square. Boom, that is your backswing. That's how to feel the perfect backswing. Oh my God, it's a two part swing, obviously. It's quite hard to do, it's quite hard to understand it, quite hard to feel it, but you'll get it. You'll absolutely get it. Then from there, where are we going? We're up there. Okay, good. I feel that 
and that to hit ball. Let's try and get them both together, both together, both together. Just a lifting of the arms and a turning of the body to hit the shot. Okay, granted that was a fraction heavy. Boom. That was pure. Again. So right arm bends as it comes in front of right shoulder as the body turn, 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 turn. So the body's turn, not shoulder, and then back down. So I'm there. Another great strike. That's quite easy now. <laughs> so the right, the, the arms are in front of my right shoulder. All the way back as the torso turns, my arms stay in front of my right shoulder. That's the feeling. And we just hit the same shot over and over and over and over, all and over again. So I've just been interrupted, there's people playing behind me. How dare they? So I'm going to pick these balls up, we'll get to the next tee, and we'll continue this. So we're on the next tee, just gathered up those golf balls. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So trying to feel as though the shoulder, the right shoulder, the club, or the hands, as we know, does this and turns. So I feel as though when I get to there, which is the hands in front of right shoulder, that I want to try and maintain that as I turn hands in front of right shoulder, front of right shoulder. Now as I come back down, there's an element of that there as well. But certainly to the top of the golf swing, the arms lift the club up, the body takes it round. Okay? Trying to feel, trying to really feel that picture of how the wrists got to there. So the club face is not miles open, not super closed, so the left wrist is flat. And then right hand or right or arms and hands, sorry, hands stay in front of right shoulder. So there, there, hands in front of right shoulder for every shot. A little bit clean. Again, trying to feel that, that, that. That was good. Same flight again. Again. That's the feeling with that turn. That's the feeling with that turn. With the turn. With the turn. I am good. With the turn. Okay, got that one. Ball turf. Nice little draw. Superb. Again, that feeling. That feeling with the turn, which is that, that, yeah, so good strikes, really good strikes, understanding the arms lift the club up, the rotation of the torso, so your chest pointing towards camera, back towards target is what takes the club behind you, so the arms lift it up, the body turning takes it there, put that together in a structured fashion though, where you cock the wrists so I don't just cock straight up because club face is now open and left wrist is now cupped I cock it like so so my right hand is more on top from there left wrist is now flat club face is now square and then I move the arms up outside right shoulder so right arm is now flexed the power accumulator left arm straight left wrist flat and turn body amalgamating all that together that's where you're at Bingo! There we are, two parts swing tip. It's interesting how, if you break it down, what gets the club going upwards? The arms. Magic. Wrist cock, understanding that. Very important. And then what turns it, what's the power source? Apart from the, the right arm bending and straightening. The pivot, the turning of the torso. Not a shoulder turn, because they move independently because they're a ball and socket joint, but the actual torso, rotation of the torso, and the arms lifting, that's your backswing. That's all it is, lift the arms, turn the torso. Guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe. I need to get to 100,000 subscribers or this channel is going to finish. Not sure that's true.
But that is a personal goal I'd like to get to, and only you guys can make that happen. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.